welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I review pens and fountain pens and today I've got a fountain pen for review. The other day I was looking online and going through eBay and just kind of, you know, looking for something that was a little different from what I've got already and I came across the Bauer 801 and what this pen is is actually a not a direct copy but very, very similar to the uh, Parker Vector which I didn't even know till after I got it and I was looking at the pen and I knew it was kind of a, a modern take, a, a, an older but modern take on uh, the arrow clip and I thought, eh, I wonder what's going on with that. So I decided after I bought the pen uh, to check out some other people's reviews and I was reading a review about this pen on Reddit and you know they were comparing it to the Parker Vector and there were some things that this reviewer, I can't remember their name, but they actually, they actually liked this one better, which you know, doesn't that always make you feel better when you buy something and somebody else who knows more about it says, hey, good deal. And so I like it when smart people agree because it doesn't make me smart, except for that one thing, but I like it. So uh, they found this to be an excellent, excellent pen. And so, you know, I had it. It was, it was sitting around. I hadn't even inked it up yet because I had a couple other reviews that I wanted to do first of pens that I've been using for a while. And so the other day, I finally, I got it out, cleaned it out, flushed it out, and started writing with it. I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a hint. I'm gonna give you a preview. This is a good pen, okay? So, but let me, let me tell you why. We're gonna look at the design of the pen and get it, give you a close up so you know what I'm talking about. And I'll do a writing review and give you my impressions, uh, good, bad, ugly, and recommendation or not here at the end. But I've kind of already told you I'm probably gonna recommend this pen. But let's flip the camera anyway and get a closer look and do the writing review. Okay, so let's look at the Bauer 801 good looking pen and whether you give that credit uh, entirely to Parker or a little shared credit with Bauer uh, for the tweaks they've made, you have to admit it's a good looking pen. It's not an overly large pen in, uh, in terms of its uh, diameter, its girth. Uh, that's just, it's kind of a thinner pen, similar in, in thickness to a Parker Jotter, except that it doesn't taper down as it does. This stays pretty much uh, the same through the length of the pen. Uh, but but if you're familiar with Jotter pens, it's it's similar to that, uh, and it is again based on the Parker Vector. I like it. It's it's nicely made. It seems to be very well made, well put together. I have no complaints whatsoever about the quality of the build of this pen. It's well made. Cat fits nicely. It posts and it posts on the black section. When you get it all the way on there, this is just kind of a. Uh, perfectly even just as if you had it at the other end. Now when you do, you end up, I don't know if you can tell, but you end up with really a pretty long pen, uh, but not heavy. It's not top heavy or anything like that when you write, but it is kind of a, a tall, uh, narrow pen when you do that. Let's take a look at the nib. Bauer, it's a standard Bauer nib, and uh, so this is the way their nibs are usually going to look. And it's gonna be a smooth feed on the other side. Uh, all the capillary action is back up in here and between the nib and the feed. Uh, so you don't really need all those fins that are on a lot of pins. But it's a two-tone nib, steel nib. And this one writes well, as you'll see in the writing sample. The grip again is, is plastic. It's a silver plastic. It's not stainless like the rest and it tapers down unlike the Vector. The Vector has a sharper step down and a straight uh, grip section. This probably is, I'm gonna guess, more comfortable. This is a comfortable pen to write with, so that's all, all good. Uh, take this off and reveal that it does come, as most Chinese pens do, with its own uh, converter. And it is just a standard international uh, converter. It takes standard international cartridges if, if you don't wanna use bottled ink, uh, so you can do that. And uh, it gets the job done, nothing fancy, but I'm glad always that they include it. So that's always good. And really good looking pen and uh, a well-made pen. You can hear that, that snick and stays on very, very securely and just a well-made, well-put-together pen. And again, I got this one for $4 or less. I'll put that in the a link to where I got it so that you can see what the going price is uh, when you watch the video. 
but a really affordable, nice pen and, and another good entry level pen, gift pen, or just a, a pen because you want one. Let's take a look though at how it writes because that's always what really matters. All right, let's see how this pen writes. This is again the Bauer 801 with a fine nib. And as you can see, you know, that is that two-tone Bauer uh, steel nib that's on a lot of their pens, writes really well. Uh, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going write, to write my row of numbers like I always do, but I'm not going to say a word. I want you to hear or not hear how much noise this pen makes. Okay, really, really, really quiet. Very smooth. This pen just does not make noise. The ink that is in this pen, if I'm remembering correctly, is a Pelican ink. And it's just their royal blue. I believe that's right. It's been a while since I inked this up, but looking at the ink, I'm pretty sure that I'm remembering that correctly. And uh, so it's a good ink. I, I, I like the Pelican inks. Uh, they run a little bit drier, which is, is good. Let me uh, do a little bit of a smear test here. Yeah, so you can see that. It's putting out good ink, but it's, it's not overly wet and uh, just a nice dry ink. Writes really, really well. Let me just do a few more and I'm going to be quiet again. Okay, I can, hear, I can hear this pen shaking on the table louder than I can hear this moving across the paper. There is no zero scratchiness. The line is nice and clean, no feathering, anything like that. It's not overly wet. Um, I've had, uh, this would be my third Bauer, I believe, uh, over the last several months. And uh, one, I had to do a little bit of work on the nib, but the other two, the first one and this one, just perfect right out of the box. Now I did flush it clean first, uh, just in case that might uh, be an issue, but this pen is really well made. It writes very, very well, and I have been extremely pleased. I, uh, I handed it to my wife the other day and said, just write with this for a second, and she almost didn't give it back. She really liked how this pen writes, and, and she may she may get it uh, anyway, I don't know. She may. This pen may disappear when I'm not looking. It is really that good. So for, for the four bucks that I paid for it, uh, I, do I recommend it? I can't recommend it highly enough because it's just a, a good looking pen. It is well put together. It writes very, very well. I'm just absolutely uh, surprised and pleased uh, buy this pen. So if you're if you're looking for a pen in a style like this, maybe a gift for somebody, I, I wouldn't hesitate. I, I really do uh, like the Bauer 801. That is a really good pen. Be sure and like and subscribe. God bless you and have a great week.